Hey guys, today I've got some Christmas crafts for you. They're vintage style and as always on a budget. I love how they turned out and I hope you do too. Let's get started. For this one, you'll need a Dollar Tree tree, Christmas tree, and a pack of these garland ties. Um, I'm not sure where I got the unopened pack from. I think it might have been Dollar General, but I know I've seen them at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to give the tree a little bit of a haircut. I'm not going to go crazy with it. And I'm also going to do the same to some of the uh, greenery ties as well. The tops of these Dollar Tree Christmas trees are usually pretty tall. So I, you know, chop some of that off there and I'm going to use it as well as pieces of these garland ties to add some little, I don't know what you would call them, add, add some forks to the branches um, on this tree to make it a little more full and to just make it look nicer. And those garland ties, they cut very easily with some wire cutters. And I just cut about an inch, inch and a half, two inches tops for little pieces of branches to hot glue on there. I'm also going to take some of this English Ivy paint from Apple Barrel. And I love this color. It's one of my new favorite colors. And I'm just going to take and I'm not going to make sure that I have full coverage. It's okay if you don't get every little you know piece of plastic here on these trees but you can just i hope you can see here that it really takes the shine off of that plastic gives it a more muted look um and just i, I feel like it makes it look a little more high-end and for some highlights instead of using white for you know a snowy or icy effect i'm just going to take some of this moss chalk paint by waverly and use it instead, a light green, to add just a little bit of contrast on these limbs to, you know, make them not so one note to give the, you know, some color variety on them. I feel like, I feel like that made it look better as well. I cut some paper strips out of craft paper that I got from Dollar Tree and you won't need very many. It won't take a lot to cover the little trunk of this tree, but I just took some Mod Podge and wrapped it, you know, wrapped the paper around there. You could save yourself some time and use um, some craft tape, some, you know, you just search brown paper tape. They have it, they sell it at Walmart as well. It's usually in stock at my Walmart. But um, that would be a lot easier as opposed to using the paper strips and Mod Podge. But, you know, just there's a couple of options there for you. I think if I did it again, I'd probably just use my brown tape. I didn't think about it until about halfway through. So, but it wasn't difficult to wrap it in the strips with Mod Podge. adding here some um, pine cones like the the smaller the better if you have very some very little pine cones the you know the larger pine cones would of course look silly on such a tiny tree but just hot glued those on there and I wanted to make a different base for the tree it's on this little plastic stand but you could use a block from Dollar Tree I know they sell wooden blocks you could use a jar and put some floral foam down on the top of the jar and then put the tree in it and paint the jar whatever color you like. But I'm going to use the top of an old bedpost 
Um, I think it's about a four by four size. And um, I asked my husband to cut it down and he cut it down a little bit shorter because there, there is a style of, of trees right now, Christmas trees, little Christmas trees that have like oversized bases and they're usually wood and they're painted white and distressed or they're, you know, natural wood color. But um, I was going for that look and I didn't like the sort of yellow stain that was on them. So I just watered down some burnt umber paint and I got it a little too runny. So I used a sponge brush instead of, you know, regular paint brush and that worked out well. I like the color that it ended up being. And there's a little comparison there of what it looked like before I gave it, you know, it's, it's makeover. So you can really take these little trees and make them look a lot nicer with just some paint and some pine cones and a different base and, um, you know, doing something with that trunk. This is just a quick reminder that if you like this video, click that thumbs up and stick around a while by subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. Those are free ways to support my channel. It helps out a lot. Now back to the DIYs. For this one, you'll need a frame and this is a five by seven frame. It's plastic. So I'm going to paint it first with the chalk paint just as the base coat and then I'm going to top it off with the English Ivy Green from Apple Barrel. These will be free printables in the description box. So just check in the supplies list in that description box. And um, it's two different printables for this one craft. And I'm just going to sort of detail cut around these carolers. I'm also using half of an ornament here. They make these ornaments that you can open up. I'm pretty sure I got these from a craft store like Hobby Lobby. Um, well, it would have had to have been a Hobby Lobby. That's the only craft store really that I go to. But I'm not sure if they've ever sold those at Dollar Tree. They might have at some time in the past, but you can find them lots of places. To raise up the carolers to give it a little more dimension off of this background here, I just took a square bead from the Dollar Tree and cut that in half. And I'm going to glue those carolers down. I'm using some faux snow here inside of this little globe. And I'm just showing you that you want to use, because it's such a small craft and such a small globe, you really want to use some fine faux snow, fake snow. Um, I just wanted to show this snow that I got from Walmart. It has some pretty large pieces of plastic. That's basically what this fake snow most of the time is, is chopped up um, clear or white plastic. But the um, this faux snow, fake snow that I got from, I'm pretty sure I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I know that they have fake snow that's fine like this at Dollar Tree because I just saw some the other day when I was in there. I'm using E6000 to glue the carolers, you know, glue the back to this globe. You could use hot glue or whatever glue that you have. This little globe turned out really cute, much cuter than I thought it would. The video and, you know, the camera doesn't really do it justice. I'm just hot gluing the whole thing to the music paper here. I picked out a couple different types of twine, this thinner brown and brown twine and the red and brown twine. 
Um, I got both from the Dollar Tree. And I was leaning toward just the plain brown, but I'm trying to use more color. I, I like neutrals so much that a lot of times I don't put any color hardly in my crafts. And so I'm, I'm trying to do more color and this, you know, muted red isn't super colorful, but it's more Christmassy. So I chose that and I'm glad I did it. It worked out well. And I'm just hot gluing that around to, to give it a border, to sort of give it more of a finished look around this globe. I'm not big on bows, but I thought a little bow would look really nice on the top here, and it would also hide that little plastic piece. I, I could have tried to cut it off or even melt it off somehow, but um, I just thought that I would be adding a bow on the top anyway, so just tying a little shoelace bow here. It looked a little plain, so I took some of these larger berries. They do sell these at the Dollar Tree. That unopened pack there is from the Dollar Tree this year. I'm glad they started selling those, but I just glued one to each side, and I, and I think it added, you know, it added what it needed. I did take some antique wax and just did a little bit of distressing on the frame. For this one, you'll need a candle holder. You can use one of the ones from Dollar Tree or a thrifted one like I did here, and a little bowl. They have little bowls of the Dollar Tree, the little glass ones. I'm just using some E6000 and it did a very good hold once it's set up. I'm going to do, um, you know, a taller and a shorter one. I have, I have quite a few of these little bowls. So you might see them in other crafts. And in other crafts, I might not paint them. I mean, I do like the way they look. But for this one, I was going for a certain look. And you might like, you know, how it looked before. It kind of had a, kind of had a, a 50s vibe to me before I painted them. But, you know me, I like gold. So, or the color gold. So um, I just, you know, gave those a few coats and put a little bit of antique wax on them, not too much. I went outside and got some cedar and I just am stacking it up here, not really paying too much attention to how I'm stacking it, trying to make any shape, you know, while I'm stacking it. I'm going to trim it up afterwards to make it sort of a Christmas tree shape.
I'm cutting in the bottom off flat so that it'll set here in this little bowl and I'm just going to add a generous amount of hot glue to the bottom and hold it while it sets up. You can of course use fake greenery and I could add water in this and not hot glue it, use other some other like floral foam or something to stabilize it. So I could put water in it, but you'd be surprised how long um, this fresh greenery lasts and stays green after you trim it. So I'm just, you know, if it gets too crunchy, I'll just replace it. And I'm finishing these off with some of those large red berries. Thank y'all for watching. There are more Christmas crafts coming up and more craft room updates on the way as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.